Hey, Book Leaguers, welcome to Book League Storytime Adventures. I have a really awesome and funny book for you. It's called The Girl Who Has a Million Problems, written and illustrated by Brenda Lee. Brenda Lee is the one who brought you the boy and the girl who makes a million mistakes, the Ted and Friends books, and Pig and Jeans. I'll link to all of those in the description below. But without further ado, let's go. This is Millie. She is having a great day. But then, uh-oh, her brother Theodore wants the same stuffy. Now Millie's day isn't so great. Mine! Says Millie. No, mine! Says Theodore. Millie is so mad, she stomps, she pulls, and she screams. <laughs> then this happens. Look what you did! says Millie. No, you did it! says Theodore. Did not! says Millie. Did too! says Theodore. Well, that was a waste of time! Millie says. Millie moves on to building a tower, but it crashes down. Oh no! She cries. <laughs> but then, the blocks are still down. Crying didn't help at all. But that's not all. Millie continues to have more problems. Her shoes get soaked in the rain. Her ice cream melts in the sun. Her pencil snaps in class. And her kite gets stuck in a tree. <coughs> it's a brand new day. At school, Miss Fizzle says, we have a fun science project. Next week is the egg drop challenge. Put an egg in a paper cup with cotton. Add a parachute. We'll drop it from way up high. If your egg doesn't crack, you pass. Millie is excited for the egg drop challenge. At home, she gathers all her materials. She's ready, but wait, one problem. Where's the paper cup? It's gone. Millie exclaims. Her dad is sipping coffee from her only paper cup. Millie starts to cry. <laughs> that, that, that's the last paper cup! <laughs> she says. She sits on the floor feeling sad. Then she remembers everything that happened with her toys and learns that crying doesn't help. So she wipes her tears with a tissue. And that's when Millie has an idea. I don't need a cup, she realizes. I can put the egg in this tissue box and it will still work. But it's full of tissue. How can I get it out fast? She ponders. Then Millie has another idea. Millie takes her tissue box to school. It's allergy season and everyone has a runny nose. What? <laughs> uh. <laughs> they all need tissues. Ta-da! Problem solved! Millie has an empty box within minutes! Back home, Millie checks her stuff. She thinks she has everything. But wait! There's another problem! Where's the egg? It's gone! Then she smells something from the kitchen. Mom has cooked her egg! <gasps> Millie quickly looks in the fridge for another egg. But there are none! She rushes to the egg shop, but it's closed! She even climbs up a tree to look for eggs. Nope, not a good idea. Yeah. Millie gets down from the tree and hears something. <laughs> there is a farm and they are selling eggs. Millie buys an egg and rushes home. <laughs> She finally puts it all together. Bada bing, bada boom, it's done. Millie brings her project to school. Uh-oh, more problems. The tape has come off. Her classmates are starting to test their projects and it's almost Millie's turn. No time to cry or panic. Millie tells herself. She takes a deep breath and looks around. <sighs> I need something that works like tape. Aha! My water bottle stickers! 
Millie quickly tapes her project together using her water bottle stickers. But her design looks different from the others. But oh well, time to test it out. Miss Fizzle lifts her project up high, ready for the drop. In three, two, one. Miss Fizzle, let's go! And Millie's project floats down slowly and gently until it lands safely on the ground. Miss Fizzle checks the egg for cracks. Nope, no cracks! Hooray! But wait a minute, the egg, it's cracking, it's moving. It hatches into a little chick. Ah, uh, so cute! Millie says. Wait, do I still pass? You passed, Miss Fizzle says to Millie. And you win the most creative design award. A tissue box and water bottle stickers. That's so unique. Everyone claps for Millie. Hey, hey, hey. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Today is a great day. From then on, Millie starts solving problems. Instead of fighting over toys, she finds something more fun and relaxing to do. Instead of crying when her tower falls, she builds a cooler one. She dries her wet shoes with a hand dryer. She flips her melting ice cream into a cup and makes a sundae. And when her kite is stuck in a tree, she throws a ball up to knock it down. Millie learns that life is happier when she stays calm and thinks creatively. My Ayana, get this ball out of my tree! The end. Check out the description for more Brenda Lee books. Remember, complaining or crying does not solve your problems. Stay calm, be creative, and when you're not solving problems, go read a book. Bye-bye!